review of the newly revealed Indomitus box set. So we're gonna just uh, go through the models, um, the space frame models, because I don't know anything about the Necron ones, except how they look. And we will discuss it. So first of all, that's what we see, that how the, the actual box will look like, which is kind of nice. There is the stream is still ongoing, but it doesn't care about that. And we can see the video here that is an announcement. And this is the first thing that we will see all of these models. And actually they, they mentioned it in the stream. I think that they cannot confirm the price, but it's, it's a lot of value in the box. I guess it will be around $200 or euros or something like that. And uh, okay, so let's go to the spicy stuff. So this is the new Primaris Captain. He's coming with like uh, three heads. One is the, the helmet off, so bareheaded. It's like half up. And this third one is just like totally closed. To be honest, I like this model, but I don't like this model. I mean, I don't like this model because of the skeleton in the on the, on the shield. I mean, it's like too much. Uh, also, I, I, I okay, well, the well, the Necron body is, is is it's cool, but but this is for me, it's it's too much. I know it's grim dark, and now they, as they mentioned, it, that they want to 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 give them now a more experienced, more veteranish feels of the primaries because they are now fighting in this Indominus Crusade for like years and now they are not the player as they were in the beginning well Core introduced them. And of course we have the primaries lieutenant with a Vorkite charger. I mean, with a world kite weapon, so Horus Heresy in your hand. Also with the Storm Shield. I guess this one has a skeleton as well. And we get a primary chaplain, which I would say, okay. Oh, wait. Uh huh. Okay, so all of the Indominus Crusade veterans had this, has this like a skull and this like a cross arrow thingy. So I think this is the uh, like image of the you are part of the Indominus Cassid son. So the board gun, the board pistol is nice. I mean, this is a good model. I would say this is a good model. And now we have him, which is I really don't understand because I mean, okay, let's see the description. It's chopping time. This shirt, this shirt is not only a super, uh, super, super swordsman, okay, able to cut down foes, but with a single blow on his brutal-looking executioner relic blade, but he <clears throat> has an all-new item of esoteric war gear. A tempor mortis. It's an arbes. It's a tempor. It's an arbes. Okay. You don't need to ask a high gothic to know it means something to manipulate time and ensure the deaths of his query. I mean, okay, that's super grim dark. It's like, I mean, I really like the detail it's on the model. So the, the right side of the, uh, his cape is just, you know, it's like uh, off. So he can uh, use this sword in in a better fashion, let's say, but, but I just, cannot see this as a space marine, I mean, at least not an ultramarine, so maybe some black templar shenanigans or something like that, but yeah, we will go back to black templars as well, or maybe he can, it would be fitting more with a hood, hood at the uh, head and he can be a dark injury interrogation uh, chaplain or something like that, but Okay, so that's a new character. And now we have the Blade Guard veterans, which 
what I can see, these helmets really looks like Grey Knight helmets for me. Also, they have this like this little shield on their breastplate, and that's a Grey Knight thing as well. Also, the storm shields looks like they are coming from the Death Watch, and the I don't know that the pistols are Walkite or not. Wielding Mastercraft heavy bolt pistols. I mean, that pouch is just too big for heavy bolt pistols. I mean, okay, it's fine. It's still fine. But all of these guys, it's just like full of robes and whatever. And I know that the Ultramarines are the poster child of everything 40k, but, but I just I, I just cannot see these guys as Ultramarines. Sorry, I, if these guys can be Black Templars, Iron Fist, Dark Angels, whatever. I know that you can paint whatever you want, but I, I just, uh, for me, it's a little bit like not that ultramarine-ish also they are like turned up the level to 11 with the skulls that, I mean I guess the skulls saying that they are veterans and whatnot so I think they will be the new terminators not the gravis armor they will be the new terminators we will see and we have the Blade Guard Ancient. On one hand, I really like this model because you can see in the model's left hand it has this like skeleton hand, which was actually part of this dude in the I don't know standard or something. But these this guy has definitely like lot of robes and okay uh, I get it you are an ancient and you are it's a knightly aesthetic and stuff like that but still not an ultramarine sorry to say that and also I'm I'm really don't like the banner I really like the uh, the dark imperium ancient one the primary ancient with the with the empty banner and you can freehand it or you know transfer sheet uh, some of your chapters um, uh, logo insignia or something like that but this one is just like I don't know I, I I get it's like a crusade veterans whatnot but but these skeletons are just it's kind of ridiculous to be honest it's 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 really ridiculous for me but it's it's okay and I really appreciate that they have this like another kind of like purplish uh, seals now instead of the the red one uh-huh, pretty handy in fight. Haha, uh -huh. there is a pun. We should all laugh. Okay. These guys, Matagans. So basically now the Devastator squad, the old Devastator squad now have all of the options with different models. I'm really curious that these guys will the their indicators will come uh, when it will come with a multi part kit. Will they come with rocket launcher or just matter guns? Will be the the only uh, weapon options. They are in gravis armor, but still, I'm thinking these guys will be the new Terminator staple, which is a Grey Knight, Death Watch, whatever hybrid stuff. And we have a problem here. It says Assault Intercessor Squad. Do you remember the old Assault Marines? You know, the one with jump packs. So these guys, uh, oh, actually, the surgeon can have a plasma. Cool. So what they have is both pistols, right? Surgeon has a plasma or Ken has a plasma. Uh, and uh, chain swords, actually primaries, no Astartes chain swords. I think that's a new word for it, but whatever. So <clears throat> they are literally, uh, I think, reverse sculpts and primary sculpts. And let's hunt for twins. So there is one twin here. There is one twin here. There is one twin here that's three teams 
already. The sergeant pose and this guy's pose, it's, the body is kind of almost the same. Okay, so one twin, two twin, three twin, four twin, okay, so four twins, that eight, and uh, the sergeant uh, body is the same as the other guy's body, so the only the, the pose of the weapon, uh, it's definitely, and, and I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but basically you are releasing new left hand weapon options. These are not new models. These are not new models at all. And okay, I still getting it. I I, I don't try the there is like four twins. Let's say five twins. Okay, let's say it's five twins. So basically, you are paying for doubles. And they are not assault intercessors. I mean, the the word assault is jump packing somewhere, chain sorting the god emperor out of someone then jump back and or jump to the another guy these guys foot so you still need to buy the whatever transport vehicle that you want to put them in drive them there and after that i don't like it i'm sorry to say i really don't like it uh we can't wait while i can until there will be a jump back option and the Outriders. I mean, I like those guys. It would be really cool that uh, they would get like some, you know, uh, repulsor action. But uh, I understand that that uh, these kind of stuff are more for, you know, Custodes and stuff like that. They are okay. They are okay. I like the two heavy bolt guns. Also the the chainmail option, they are like cavalry in a crusade, so so they look cool, they look really bulky. I'm wondering that there will be a new Raven Wing accessory kit for the you know to the Outriders. We will see that. Um, all in all, I kind of like the models inside, uh, um, but uh, not the assault marines. So I like those kind. I, I like these characters. I mean, I really li like them because I'm playing Dark Angels, so it will be really easy to convert them to Dark Angels. I w I would really hope, but I don't think so that these skeleton can be like removed somehow. I don't I don't think it can, but you know, I, li I like the war kite. The war kite is cool, and the sword as well. Uh, I would really, I would be really interested in the rules of the this executioner guy, which is still more like chaos, but whatever. Mm. I would, I would like to revoke that. I'm, they are okay. I'm not liking them. They are okay. I mean, they are just the, you know, the the first new models that basically will. Be produced infinitely for Games Workshop. Like there will be a lot of new primaries when I buy it. But okay, let's go. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't want to uh, review the Necrons because I I don't know them. They are cool. I really like this like killer bucket guy. With I mean, they are cool. This guy is, looks big and angry and rusty. Those are as well. Yeah. Oh, I know them. Scarabs and warriors, right? I mean, we won't count the twins because they all kind of look the same. Oh, this one, no. This one has this like, like damaged armor. That's nice. Okay. And the thing is that this is not a starter box. They called it a launch box or a launch set. So we'll, you, uh, you will get the seventh. 9th edition rulebook with it, with this fancy art. And for me, it says that there will be no returning Primark soon. So Gilliman is there, now he has Angel Wings as well. And he's fighting Bedon, which is cool, I guess. So there will be no Lion, maybe. 
I, I'm, I'm really not. I won't hold my breath until there will be a new loyal primer model. And there is the assembly guide, and the oh no no, this is the France is the like the story within the box set. And there is the assembly guide, the transfer sheet, and that's it. So I have like a couple of questions because the first of first of all, do you remember when they introduced the uh, eighth edition box, the Dark Imperium? Uh, it has like two unique models, the Captain in Gravis and the Primary Sage Ancient. My question is that will it be the same with uh, this captain and the banner guy? Or maybe, the, uh, no, I think he will be, Jedikar will be, uh, Jedisir will be definitely in like, um, you know, his own uh, little box as well, but maybe the the Blade, Gate, uh, Blade Guard Ancient and the Captain will have the same fate and the Gravis Captain and the Primary Ancient. That is one. The other one, is that they emphasized it that this is a limited time offer so if you want to grab it i think you have like a limited time window a short time window like with the sisters of battle box set and uh, the other one so basically it will be there for uh, one month or so i'm quite curious that we are the games workshops uh, web store will crash like a uh, would, when you could order the Sisters of Battle one, it would be unfortunate, I would say. We will see. The price, I would say like 200 euros or 200 dollars, definitely, because it is like loads of models. So just a space for inside 10, 15, 4, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. 21 model and three bikes yeah i mean it will be around 200 i think so uh thanks for checking in uh sorry for the delay in the video but i wanted to see all the models and uh, like uh not just a sneak peek from the big reveal or something like that so see you guys next time and the emperor protects <laughs>